Kanisa la PCA katika kaunti ya Kajiado na kampuni ya Epza unaendelea kushika kasi huku kote ikitoa muamuzi unawapa waumini hao siku sitini kuondoka kwenye ardhi hiyo wa elimu wasike na taarifa zaidi kwenye mseto wa kaunti. Vutani kuvute imeendelea kushuhudiwa katika kanisa la PCA Kitengela baada ya koti kutoa uamuzi kutokana na mzozo wa ardhi baina ya kanisa hilo na kampuni ya EPZ ambao umeendelea kwa miaka tisa sasa. Kanisa la PCA Kitengela limepewa muda wa siku sitini kugura kutoka kwa ardhi ambayo wamekuwa kizuzania na kampuni ya EPZ. Hii ni baada ya mahakama ya ardhi ya Kajiado kuamua kuwa ardhi ya ekari mbili ya kanisa la PCA Kitengela Township na shule ya msingi linamilikiwa na kampuni ya EPZ. Mkuu hayo ya kijiri wakiongozwa na gavana wa Garissa Nathif Jama, viongozi wa kaunti hiyo wameshutumu vikali uharibifu mkubwa wa mazingira ikiwemo uindaji haramu pamoja na ukataji wa miti eneo la dadab liboi na viunga vyake kuwa kinyoshia kidole cha lawama shirika la umoja wa mataifa la kuhudumia wakimbizi kwani wanadai kuwa wakimbizi hao ndio wanaoleta uharibifu huo wa mazingira viongozi hao wameweka mikakati kabambe ili kuhifadhi na kulinda mazingira hayo we came because of this huge massive destruction this is something unacceptable. We always knew that the refugees, who of course uh, we are welcome to our ministry, we knew that they were cutting trees for food, for their cooking requirements. But we never imagined that a day will come when they will cause such a massive, massive destruction. It's been going on for some time now, and I'm glad that the, that the governor and our area MP have taken it. I'll pass the same message to the refugees. I'll also share the same with the UNHCR organs. Uh, this obviously cannot continue. Uh, it's a uh, uh, continued uh, process that's really uh, converted another is green area. Into so so if we don't take an action this will be a vast vast desert Kwingineko muungano wa wanaume wa Kianglikana katika kaunti ya Kirinyaga unaitaka serikali kubadili mikakati ya kukabiliana na utumizi wa mihadarati miongoni mwa vijana. Aidha wanasema kuwa mikakati inayotumiwa na machifu na wasaidizi wao kuwakamata vijana na kunasa pombe haramu haitawanufaisha sana vijana hao waliwadhiriwa na dawa za kulevya. In Central Kenya now we have people who are already too deep into that catastrophe, if I may call it that way. These people, because of the nature of the effects of alcoholism that they are suffering from, it is almost impossible for the administrators, that is the chief, the sub-chief, and all those in that sector to demand that this person stops taking or consuming alcohol immediately. Wairimu wa Sike, Look Up TV. Na kufiki hapo mtazamaji, sasa tuelekea hadi.